Well, you see what we're gonna do? It's raking day. We got all that over there. Up on that hill, that back bottom. I cut that little bottom of ours back there. I'm gonna go rake that here in a bit. And we're gonna start raking over there, up on the hill, over that bottom. I'm gonna try to get some baler action too. Kinda excited about today. I always like to guess what I think it's gonna make. All together what I got cut right now, I'm thinking it's gonna make between 60 and 70 bales. So, we'll see. Got old Betsy fired up and running. Letting her warm up a bit. Then we're gonna go jump on it and get on that bottom back there and get on it. We'll see y'all in a bit. Well, this is where we're gonna start. Been laying four days. Today's a little dew still laying on top of it, but it's pretty daggone dry. So a little bit ain't gonna hurt it here. Down this bottom, it, it'd be late, late before it would be completely dry this afternoon anyway, but there ain't no green left in it. So I'm gonna go on and rake it. This little old field's hard to do a bunch of video in, so I'll probably rake it. And then after I rake it, I'll take a video of the wind rows and tell you what I think it'll make. See you in a bit. Well, there it is. That's rake. So I'm gonna say kind of heavy in Johnson grass and it'll it'll roll fairly tight but four it'll probably make four it, it might make five but I doubt it so I'm gonna stay with four anyway got this lick done now we're gonna head across the road get started on that so I'll see y'all in a bit yeah from a different look back there all them hillsides back there we're gonna rake in up there around the house couple patches up here there's a patch over there and then back over behind them trees over there there's that big field over there we're gonna get into but probably won't do a whole lot up here around the house i'll probably show you after it's raked then when i get back here in that bottom i'll show you some more of that but got some work ahead of us for the day see you in a bit all right we got all that up there in the front done maybe when i'm getting out of here if the baylor ain't right here yet I'll show you, but I just don't like the video up around her house. I just don't think it's right. I think I've said that a thousand times. But anyway, we're going to jump in on this, get, get going on it. After I get a little going, a little good, I'll, I'll bring in on some video. See you in a bit. All right, I got these two little patches done. And right, right there where you can see there's kind of a little deep drain right there. I always like to find it so I know where it is so I ain't putting a windrow right dead center of it so Baylor won't pick it up. I'm going to go in there and jump on that piece right there and when I get up out of that shade right there and come back I'll start bringing in on these long rows and we'll see what it looks like. Seems to be it. Pretty good wind rows there boy. Making hay. Making hay. Good night of living is making hay. Whee! Third cut on this field. Golly, it's making hay. I'm tickled down. Woo! Oh boy. 
I mean, you're talking about making hay, Jack. Woo! Death here, boy. All right, we about got this one whooped. Bringing the ends. I go around the outside twice. Full width of the rake back there. Gives him plenty of room when he gets to the end of a run. I always do the inside first, then come back and ring it. It seems like it works better for me. Anybody else might do it a little different, but this way I do it works good, and I'm gonna keep doing it that way. But my goodness, you look at the wind rows with third cutting on this field. God, no. Woo! It's gonna make some bales. I'm gonna say it's from. All three of these little patches here will make 40 or so, at least 40. I couldn't be more happier. Might make more than 40, I don't know. It, it's crazy how thick it is. See how this is a mess on the end? I come through now. I'll make two complete circles around the outside, collect all this up. Bush hog at top, I think. See how rough it is, but I bush hog this bit. Or we bush hog it. My bro did actually. Yeah, probably gonna do that next time too. Next year. But you looking at wind rows, man. Good grief. Man can't ask for better than that for third cut. Golly. Unbelievable for real. them other two pieces done got this one right here do I'll be done right about there's my baler man going back down there to the bottoms I think my brother's down there moving bales it looks like I see the tractor down there moving so he's probably stockpiling bales somewhere down there 
Oh yeah, down there by her house, I'm still. Big pile of them sitting there from here. Yeah, there goes the baler. He's going down there in the bottom to start. a whole lot of video man just it's on these hills going up the hill you work the throttle going down the hill you work the throttle it's just it's non-stop it's kind of hard to do on this hill but uh anyway i'll get this raked and i'll get with y'all in a little bit probably sit up here maybe see if we can get some video down there maybe him bailing or i might pull in down there or something yeah there goes my bro back home down there on the road. Probably gonna get some wagons, I'd say. Alright, see you in a bit. Well, the hills are done, they're raked, ready to go. I'm gonna go unhook this rake, I guess. Put my back bell spear on. Maybe hook up another wagon or two. You ready to start hauling bells probably. See what we got going on down here. Huh? There he is right there bailing. There's seven I can see right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well. Pete's sakes, I thought I could see better than that in there. Perfect time, I'm gonna kick one out right there. That's probably gonna do it on this one because it's gonna be kind of long I guess but I'll post this one and then when I go after I go drop this rake off and uh, put bell spear on and whatnot maybe hook some wagons up I'll come back we'll try to get a little more bailing maybe all right y'all thanks for watching I'll see you on the next one